Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 says, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt diligently hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to keep his statutes, to keep his commandments that I give you this day, then the Lord thy God shall lift thee on high above all the nations. I'll get it out in a minute. Now, I regularly pray this verse because, Father, help me to diligently, consistently, constantly hear your voice, listen to your voice, be gravitated toward you. And it's not just about the blessings. It's about being more readily available, more easily guided in keeping his commandments, in keeping his statutes. The end goal being a doer of the word and not a hearer only. It's absolutely amazing. And if you follow through on verse two and all these blessings shall overtake you. Great. What does it do? What are you doing when you diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord your God? What are you doing when you're keeping his statutes, when you're keeping his commandments? You make yourself promotable. You put yourself in a position that the Lord can honor you, can exalt you. Stop and think about it. Um, let's just take employee, employer kind of standpoint. No, he's not your boss, but yeah, kind of. Let's just look at it like that. If you have an employee that is following process, following protocols, keeping the place clean, keeping the job done, doing the right things consistently, and if they don't, they're teachable, then that's one that's easily promotable. It's easy to bring them into a higher um, authority, a higher trust, a higher responsibility. And the one that doesn't listen, doesn't do anything, barely does anything, you see where I'm going. So in doing so, two things happen. You make your, you put yourself in a position where the Lord can grow you. He can enrich you. Those that are faithful with little that can be trusted with much. And when you keep his commandments, you keep his statutes, you put yourself in a position that he can trust you with things of more importance. Second, you put yourself in a position that the kingdom blessings, kingdom promises can be unlocked. God is not sitting on some throne saying somewhere saying, okay, well, he crossed enough T's and dotted enough I's. We can let him have whatever he's asking for. It is all set up on kingdom, kingdom principles and law. Does the Lord bend or even break thing rules, et cetera, supernatural and otherwise sometimes based on faith, but you have the keys to unlock the doors to the kingdom all the promises. It is his good pleasure to give you the kingdom. He wishes above all things that we would prosper and be in health, even as our soul prospers. He wants to get the kingdom into our hands. He's not going to trust spoilt brats that take everything for granted and take advantage of things when all you have to do is learn to be honorable, to learn to be trustworthy, learn to be faithful diligently listen to the voice. What's the voice? The word. I mean, it's just that simple. His, his voice is his word. Keeping his commandments, keeping his statutes. You know, when Jesus was ministering, they said, which of the commandments is the most important? And Jesus said, I give you two that are more important. Love God with all of your heart, all of your mind, with all of your soul, everything you've got and all of who you are and love your neighbor. Love overcomes a multitude of sins. We ain't figured it out yet. We're still trying to keep the rule book and measure ourselves against some sort of a standard. He is the only standard. He is the only banner that we raise. He is the example to follow. Not your pastor, not your father, not your sister, not your mother or cousin. Him. Hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments, to keep his statutes that are given in that book. And he will lift you on high above all the nations. And verse two says, and all of these blessings will come upon you and overtake you. Amen. Amen.